You might as well leave. Every time we come here, we yell at each other for an hour and leave. I had that idea for Rambo 2150. Rambo's copyrighted. And it's an awful movie to begin with. Maybe we should wait for the others. It's not like they ever come up with anything good. Kia ora. Lucy, Maria, you're both late. Especially late. Annoyingly late. It's almost my tenth time. Do I get a free coffee? Ugh. Lucy, please don't. I think I'm perfectly capable of handling this situation, Susan. Don't suppose either of you has any movie ideas? Well, since you asked nicely. Imagine a girl in a forest. She's lost. She's lonely. She's frightened. She's trying to escape, although she doesn't know what from. She wants to leave, but everything looks the same. Little does she know, her life is coming to her. Cliché! What was so cliche about it, Susan? Everything, Lucy, everything. A girl in a forest at midnight running from who knows what. It's been done before! I never said midnight. You imagined it wrong. It's not like you can come up with anything better. Well, for your information, I, I do have an idea. A, a good one at that. Can everyone... Please stop staring at me. Okay, this one's going to knock your socks off. There's a lonely girl in a library. She's read almost every book in the place and can't seem to find anything new to read. She pulls out book after book until something pikes her interest. But this thing wasn't a book. No, it was a boy. On the other side of the bookshelf was the most beautiful boy you've ever seen. His hair, his eyes, everything was perfect. Baby. That was just a distraction. The girl was an assassin hired to kill the boy. She stabs him. And the bomb he said goes off! Wow. That was Bloody so fantastic! That. Or not that. It was good up until the guy came in with the gun. Are you kidding me? That was one of my favorite parts! That was your idea, Alex. It was good until the guy came in. But what about the beautiful lady that came in after him? Maria, who do you think should play this beautiful lady? Me, duh. It's one of my first hits becoming a star. That the only reason you're here? This movie isn't going to get you famous. Not at this rate. That's what you're worried about? She's 14. I don't think the whole pregnant thing is a great idea either. At least I'm trying. What's your idea? How about this? The super spy finds himself tied to a chair in a room in the middle of nowhere after a rather unsuccessful mission. He's been in this situation before. He works his magic on the string, binding him to the chair, and it drops to the ground in no time. He turns and finds his unconscious girlfriend tied up next to him. He quickly rushes over to her chair and unties her. She falls to the ground. She's dead. At least, that's what he thinks. Before the corpse gets up again, it's a zombie. And then the lady runs in and yells. I'm having your baby. I swear I never met her in my... Wait. Same problem as last time. If you weren't so fussy, you would probably be halfway through filming this thing. I just don't think we're the right age to be talking about things like that. To be fair, you don't see many 14-year-old super spies out and about. Don't see many super spies out and about. Shut up. While you are arguing, I've come up with a masterpiece. Go on. Can we just not? What's wrong? It just doesn't sound like it's going anywhere. Wait, let me finish. Thank you. We see our hero. I'm having your baby! I don't think we're getting a full min this year. Well, there's always next time. 